Hello, uh, in this video I'm going to show you how to do cameras and I guess probably I'll show you how to do doors. So just quickly I'm going to click on first person um, and I'm going to show you how you can basically start here, walk over to here, walk in the door. I don't have an, anything in my house so I'll just look in this corner and uh, I'll then show you how to render that. So what I actually need to do is go to my first floor, that's where everything's going on. So I need to, on the left hand side in the more column, so I might need to spin that out, click on camera. What I'm going to need to do, I'm going to start my slab and I'm going to left click and I'm now going to just kind of drag up a little bit. And what I'm doing is just placing a camera here and these are going to appear in this IFC cameras in your 3D window. And kind of come along. Now the trick with this is to do as many cameras as possible. Because uh, the rendering engine is just going to follow these paths. So um, it's just going to do what it's going to do. So I'm just as, just as I said, going to come over and have a look in this corner. Maybe have a look back over here. Uh, and let's say that I'm happy with that. So now if I click on camera one, I can see what I'm looking at. Uh, that doesn't look terribly promising. Looks like it's in drone mode. If I click on camera seven as well, okay. So it's um, my cameras are wrong. So I'll go back to my first floor. I just need to fix up these cameras. So I can either click on sort of each camera individually, which is a bit of a pain, or I can press Control F. This is a really handy feature. I can do this search criteria. So is all types. Um, do I see camera? I need to click on more. Uh, cool, there's camera. If I press the plus button, all of these cameras will get selected, which is awesome. So I'm going to hazard a guess and say up here there's something going wrong, but I'm going to press Control T, and this is, you know, the shortcut to transform every object. So initially I need to have camera Z and target Z the same um, elevation. So 1600, it looked like it was a bit high, but let's just see what's going on. Just going to apply this. So that's changed all cameras. So if we go back to camera one. Okay, awesome. I can see I'm well in the sky here, so that really doesn't help me at all. Um, so I might go back to my first floor. Um, press plus to select everything again. I'm going to drop, I don't know, maybe to 9,000. Just sort of guessing. Because, you know, basically I want to be a certain height above the ground. Okay, that's a pretty good guess. Just go change slightly. Um, I'll make that 8,500 and apply. There are of course other things that I can change. Um, I'm not going to go into a photography course. You're most welcome to, to look at this. For example, you might want to maybe change your viewing cone, the azimuth, but again, up to you. Uh, not not for me to go into right now. So if I click on camera one, ooh, I'm probably going to hit my head. So there's obviously two conservative with that, so bring it down to 7500 and apply. Okay, no worries, I'm a shorter person, that's okay. <clears throat> Might just double click another camera, awesome, it's the right height. So, the hard work's done. I've got all my cameras and they're in a channel. So what I can now do is close this and go up to document and click on creative imaging and this time I'm doing a fly through, so create fly through. Um, I'm just going to start with 3D window. You can do a photo render but really you need to do 3D window first. Photo render is going to take a long time. Um, in the last video I showed you how it took maybe three minutes to render one, one frame. This has got 150 frames so you can do the math on that. It takes a long time. Um, this is heavily taxing on both CPU and 3D card. Okay, so I'm going to do all frames. Um, potentially, what you could do, if you want to do some cutting, is you could do, you know, maybe just a couple of frames here and a couple of frames there, or you could crop it later on as you need to in uh, a movie editor. Frame rate's important. If I do 10, we'll just see how that goes. Um, if you're in Australia, a normal television's playing at 25 frames per second, so 10 frames are going to be pretty jerky. But at the same time, if I've got frame rate of 10, this is probably going to go for about 15 seconds. If I bump this frame rate up to 20, it's going to go for 7.5 seconds, so it's going to be a big difference. So I'm just going to click on save, yep, uh, I'll just call it, I don't know, video, 
Oh, there we go. Video and save. And that's going to take a little bit of time to process. Um, it's pretty cool though. I have to see what's going on. And I guess at this instance, I can see if there's any issues, such as that door. Um, <laughs> donk. It'd be pretty nice here if that door was opened. So I'll show you how to open that door in a sec. Might as well show you how to open the garage door as well. Um, pretty similar process to what we've just done. So, awesome. That looks like everything that I was going to show you. Awesome. Okay. So, if I go back to my floor view, that video is fine. I'm, I'm aware of that. Uh, if I change this camera, I'm going to change it to door type and press plus. That selects all of my doors. Whoops. And this camera. So, let's just deselect. Alright, I've got two doors here garage door and front door. If I just want to change this front door, if I hover over this area and press the tab button, it'll sort of select through what elements are there. So we click on door, and press control T, and I get a whole heap of things to play around with. Uh, again, not going to go into full detail, just going to flip through here, a couple of things, I'm looking for something over here which sort of says the door opening angle, beautiful. So in 2D, it's showing that it's 90 degrees, um, as I can see in my model over here. And the 3D opening angle is zero. I'm going to change this to, uh, let's say, 75 degrees. Change my resolution, so it's a bit hard to see. Press OK. Now, if I go back to my 3D view, my little first person dude. Awesome. I can see that my door is open. Okay, so if I was to re-render that video now, that would work. I could obviously do the same with my garage door. It's a similar thing. Control T, um, and just sort of fl flicking through this to find the opening size. Okay, uh, I think that just about finishes it, so thank you.